Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Um, I'm kind of doing a new type of video. It's a, what I got this month and I feel like it's a good kind of like series to do every month um, where I can talk about products, I can talk about clothes, just like anything. It's kind of like a favorites video, but like these are just new things in my collection of things that I own. You guys complained about the sound last time, so I'm wearing a mic. This is the first, so hopefully it sounds good. Okay, so I have a lot of clothing items and then a few products. Um, a lot of the clothing was gifted to me, so I bought myself, but I will let you know. So I'm gonna actually start with products so I can kind of run through them more quickly. <laughs> so if you watched my New York Fashion Week vlog, I talked about this product that I got at one of the parties. It's the Clinique ID, it was a Clinique party and um, they took a picture of my face and then the iPad like told me my skin concerns, which was crazy and kind of weird. Um, and then it made this, like asked me a bunch of questions and then it made this specific um, lotion for me. So it is the Clinique ID Dramatically Different Moisturizing Lotion Plus. And then I have inside, you have to watch the vlog to see like how it works, but, um, a thing for like uneven texture and pores. And I've been really enjoying this. I think it's great for sensitive skin. I like that it's customized to my skin and there's no fragrance. It's just a really nice moisturizer and I feel like it's been making a difference. Um, I've only been using it for like a week now, um, but my skin has been looking really good. So other than these two pimples that I have, but periods are fun, you know? So if you're looking for a new moisturizer, I and, or if you really like this moisturizer already, I think it's um, a good idea to check out the Clinique ID and get uh, this little thing in there specifically for your skin type. The next thing is this Kopari Starry Eye Balm. Um, I got this the other day when I met with the co-founder of Kopari and she is just like literally a ray of sunshine. She is so sweet, but it's just this, everything from Kopari is made with coconut oil. I'm sure you guys have heard about it but it's an eye balm and you can put it under your eyes like at night or in the day, but it kind of like illuminates under your eyes, but also moisturizes them. So I've been using this for a little bit and I really like it so far. It's cute. It's cute. What? Next thing, my acne has been very under control. I've been using the Benzagel face wash and really liking it. I think it is like just as working wonders, but what I'm left with is a lot of scarring. So I've been watching Arden Rose's um, experience with Accutane and she and I have a very similar skin type, I feel. So she recommended rosehip oil, rosehip seed oil. And um, I had used it before, but I never really got super into it. She says it really helps their scarring and her like scabbing and flaking and stuff. So um, The Ordinary has this one, so I got it. And I think before I was just using too much so I only use like one to two drops and then I like press it into my whole face and it's really good so far. I feel like it's really hydrating. It's nice, it's lightweight. And then I forgot it downstairs and I'm all mic'd up so I don't wanna go get it. But the Derma E Scar Gel is something else that I've been using. Um, my friend Leva is also using it. We also have very similar skin and um, she like swears by it, she loves it. And I think it's really good for getting rid of scarring. It's like definitely every day you can see the scars just getting a little bit lighter. Um, so I'll just like insert a photo or something, but it's the Derma E Scar Gel. And then makeup products. Um, I've been really into cream blush uh, and Nude Sticks has like amazing cream blushes. This is the Nudies Matte in Sunkissed and Sunset Strip. I think that these are their new ones and the colors are just really beautiful. I think they're gonna be really nice in summertime, which is far away, guys. <laughs> it's still February. I'm wearing this one today. I'm wearing Sunkissed today on my cheeks, eyes, and lips. So I like these. They're really great to travel with because they are multi-use and you just need like one or two and you have, you know, eyeshadow, cheeks, and lips all in one. Okay, getting into the fun stuff. <laughs> I have a lot of clothing. I don't know how I'm gonna get through this all, but it's all pretty new, so I think a lot of it's still available. The first thing is from this, I think, Russian company called L Ligio? Lig Ligio? Ligio? I don't really know. But it's a pinstriped suit with this blazer, and then these pants. And I have to get the pants taken in, they're a little big on me, but I 
really like it. I think it was pretty inexpensive and I feel like it's just like a nice suit to have, but it wasn't like super expensive. So I think it's gonna be great for fashion week and it's gonna be great for just like every day. I like the pinstripe a lot. I think it kind of, it just like looks really chic um, and with a white tee and sneakers is such keto fit. So that's that. That will be linked down below. Everything will be linked down below for you. The next thing is from Cos. I got a few things from Cos, but a lot of them are gonna be, I'm gonna be wearing at Paris Fashion Week. So I wanted to kind of save them and um, show you in that vlog and also show you on Instagram. My Instagram is Adelaide Rashaw if you want to follow. I post a lot, a lot of outfit photos and uh, I keep it real in the stories. This one thing I wanted to show you because I don't think I'm gonna be able to show you this in any other way. It's like, it took me so long to figure out how to use it. I don't think it's available yet. This is in their fall um, collection, but it looks like this. I thought it was like a full body jumpsuit. It is not. So basically what you do is you put your arms in the holes and then you have these, you have these other holes and you put your arm, like you put them through both holes and it's like both sleeves. It's kind of weird, but I think it's like, I don't know, it's really cool. I've never seen an item like this. And then it's like a shawl. So I think that this can be really cool for fashion week. You can like do it different ways. I know there's like a ton of different ways you can wear this, but I thought it was just like a, such an interesting piece. I've never seen anything like it before. So that's from Koss and it's really, really soft. And then these pants are also from Koss and I just, I think they're really cool. They're like such a soft, sheen material. Um, I think they're gonna look, again, really good with sneakers. Easy pant to dress up and down. And just some, again, something I've like haven't seen before. I, this is also in their fall collection. So I'm not sure if these are 100% available yet, but um, I think they're just like a really beautiful pant and just something I haven't seen before. So I'm really excited to style those. Okay, from Shopbop, I got a bunch of jeans. Uh, I wear jeans like most of the time. So my jean collection is getting like kind of out of hand. I do love, um, vintage jeans. I love Topshop jeans, but I feel like I have a lot of citizens as well, but um, a Goldie, I hadn't tried them before, but I tried them on and I really like the way they fit. I like the way they feel. They kind of feel vintagey. They're not like super expensive. Like I think they're in the hundreds um, Canadian. They're not like as expensive as citizens, which are like 300. Um, they're not as inexpensive as like Topshop, <laughs> but um, I have been really liking them. I would size down. I'm usually a 24 and um, I got 23s, like the 23 fits me. Some of the jeans, they don't have a 23 from what I've seen. Anyway, I'm just gonna show you what I got. Okay, so the jeans I got are the Riley um, crop and I got them in a light wash. You can't see them, but I will insert a clip of me wearing them. Got them in a 23 button fly. I really, really like them. They're like stiff, but still like hug your body. Big fan. I got them in white as well because once you find jeans that fit you, you want to get every color. And then I got this pair. These are got in a 24 because I couldn't find them in a 23, but these are the Sherry High Rise Straight and I'm just gonna get them taken in. But I want to get these in a lighter wash as well. They, I, what I think I like most about a Goldie is my belly button is really high on my body. So I, I find it really hard to find jeans that cover my belly button and these ones do. So, you know, that's like a huge plus for me. So the Sherry is a straight leg. They have rips in the knees. I think these are gonna look really cute in the summer with like an open-toed heeled sandal, but also will look cute with boots. And honestly, just like a white tank top. Really love that kind of look, just casual. And then I don't know if I've talked about this, but I've been looking for like a leather look pant for so long. And then I ended up getting these ones. Again, I had to get them in a 24 because I couldn't find them in a 23. Um, I also don't think that the 23 would have fit my legs. So I'm just gonna get them taken in the waist. And that's like such a classic thing for me. I can never find pants that fit my waist. Um, so I have to get everything taken in. I never even fit the smallest size in stores. It's very frustrating. Um, but these are the Roxanne Super High Rise Skinny in Black Leatherette. So I think that these are gonna be really nice just to give that leather look effect for like nights out and stuff like that. I've just been looking for a pair like this for so long and I finally found a pair. So once I get them taken in, they'll be perfect. So I got all these on Shopbop. Um, a Goldie is sold at Aritzia. It's sold at 
revolve, um, but I got mine to shop off. Speaking of Aritzia, uh, <laughs> I took over their Instagram the other day, and so I got to go in and check out their new store on Bloor Street in Toronto, so it's their Canadian flagship, and they did such an amazing job. It's like literally aesthetic goals. It is so perfect. If you saw the takeover, you'll, you would have seen a lot of these pieces, but let's just get into it because I have a love affair with Aritzia. Okay, so first thing that I got is this just cute little cami. I've trying to been, I've trying, I've, what? I've been trying to, what's the word? Up my night out shirt collection. I feel like I just have t-shirts in my wardrobe. Like I'm just such a white t-shirt person. I need to like relax on the white t-shirts. Uh, so I got this little, black cami and it has some lace on it. I think this could be really cute, like under suits, but also just like with jeans for a night out. I'm trying to add some more like camis and stuff into my wardrobe. So I got that and I got it in a small, extra small, and it's called the Sedum, 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 whatever, it looks like this. And let's see, it was $78 Canadian. That's like obviously not super affordable, but what I've always found with Aritzia is that like when I buy stuff from them, I have it in my wardrobe for a really long time. So I'm happy paying a little bit more. I feel like it's really good quality. I got a sweatsuit because I literally love sweatsuits so much. They're like my favorite thing ever. I love traveling in them. I work from home, so I'm in a sweatsuit a lot of the time. Um, I got the TNA Slim, oh, what's it called? Slim Fit Pant, I think, in gray. Just a good sweatpant, just elastic bottom, you know, the classic sweatpant. And then I got this, I think this is Sunday Best. Yeah, Sunday Best Montoya hoodie, but they're both Aritzia brands, so it's literally, Fine. but it's literally the exact same. So different brands, but exact same material because they're just both Ritzia brands and it's just a sweatsuit. <laughs> so yeah, big fan of sweatsuits. The next thing I got is the group Babaton jacket. It's like a green trench, um, just a normal trench, but I think this is gonna look really good. I have like a vision in my head. I saw someone wearing the outfit, so not my vision, but white pants, black mules, like a white tee. And then this, I feel like it's just like a really beautiful spring outfit. Um, I'm, it's gonna be pretty warm in Paris. So I'm hoping to wear it in Paris. <laughs> I got an extra small. I probably could have gone into small. I'm still not 100% sure on the size, but it was, this one was pretty expensive, but it was a trench, so. 198, definitely a shell, not super warm. Um, so keep that in mind. Pants, this is again a Babaton. I got these in an extra, extra small and they are the carry pants. I think these are gonna be a great casual like spring summer pant, the high-waisted, they have a paper bag waist and then just cropped, so sneakers, white tee, you know, classic. These are from Wilfred, pants, black pants with contrast stitching, trying to add some like different pants into my wardrobe and not just jeans as well. So these are the Zora pants. I got them in a double zero. They were $128 and um, a lot of the stuff from Maurizio was gifted to me because I did the takeover, by the way. They're really, they're cool. They're like a cool pant. I think they're gonna be a fun thing to style. Um, I really like the contrast stitching and they fit my waist and they're high-waisted, so love that. And then this skirt I have in black already. It's called the Jude. I got it in extra, extra small, but I think this is just like such a cute, spring, summer skirt. The pleated is really in. I think this was like a sweater, a cream sweater. Um, would be like the perfect Easter outfit. So probably gonna wear that on Easter with the fam. Uh, I had, I have it in black and you guys have seen it and loved it. So when I have something I really like, I like to get multiple colors. Another trench. <laughs> I have like a coat problem as a lot of you have pointed out and Joey constantly reminds me. I have way too many jackets, but honestly I live in Canada and like there's a very, very short period of time where you don't need a coat. I would say like two months, maybe a few days in June, but July, August, you don't really need a coat. But even at night, sometimes you need a coat. <laughs> so this is another trench. It's more of like a flowy trench. Um, I got it in an extra small. This was more expensive. It was 248, but I love the pink color. I think this would also look good with an all white outfit and like nude mules. Cannot wait to style this, big coat person. And then the last thing I got from Ritzia, we're finally done, is this dress. Um, I just feel like I had, in my wardrobe, I was lacking some casual, like more conservative dresses. So like, I don't know, I don't know how to explain it, but that's what I felt like I was lacking. So 
it's a three quarter length high neck um, midi dress and then it comes with this pretty belt. It has pockets. I got it in an extra small and it fits beautifully. I'm very excited to wear it. The next things I bought myself, so not gifted. I went to Frankie shop. Um, they have an online store, but they also have a Frankie shop in Paris and in New York. And in New York, I went and I got this really cool um, jacket. I don't know, I think it's gonna be really cool with like a turtleneck underneath, maybe with a skirt kind of tucked in. I just was like, I don't, I loved it. I love this pocket. Like this detail is what sold me on it. It's just a really cool detail. So got that. And then I have an outfit from Frankie shop that I'm wearing for fashion week and I wanted a yellow purse. So I got this cute little yellow purse. And I think this was only like $60 or something. And they had it in literally every color. <laughs> yeah, 60 bucks. And I think that this is just gonna be like a cute little I don't know, I'm into yellow for spring and summer. I was also thinking that after fashion week, I could do a video on like just trends that are upcoming. I don't know, I don't know. I think it could be cool to like talk about the trends that I saw at fashion week and how I would wear them. Cause obviously everything you see on the runway isn't um, wearable. It could be cool to do that. But let me know your thoughts. Or even trends that like I've seen on like online shopping because I'm constantly looking at clothes. Anyway, VSP, I went to VSP before fashion week and um, I got some stuff. They are, if you're in Toronto, I highly recommend you check them out. They're like literally the best consignment store I've ever been to. They had so many great designer things for such good prices and they were having a sale. So if you're in Toronto, check out VSP, it's on Dundas West. So I got this Burberry, um, kind of like cool trench with red. I wore it at fashion week. It is like a size two, like two sizes too big for me, but honestly it was such a good price that I couldn't pass it up. Massive hood, Joey can wear it too. So it's really, really cool. And then I got a few other things, but check my um, Instagram if you want to see them, like the blue Jill Sander dress I got from there, um, from fashion week, some pants and stuff like, they just had such good, good stuff. But I wanted to also show you this. This is a JW Anderson houndstooth jacket. And I got it on consignment, like really good price. Fits me super well. And it was secondhand. And I think secondhand shopping is such a great way to shop because obviously better for the environment. You get such a good discount and you can like find the most amazing pieces. So if you're in Toronto, I highly recommend you check them out. If you follow me on Instagram, you would have already seen this, but I got this bag by Don Salon and it's, so pretty. Um, I I'm, I'm, I love it. I just love it. I love everything about it. It's so cute. So I want to show you that. Sorry, Sasha just brought me some more products that I've been loving this month and I forgot. Eyebrow products. I've actually, I'm not wearing, I'm only wearing the this one today. This is a 24 hour brow setter by Benefit, but I have been actually starting to do my eyebrows at night and stuff. I feel like with the brunette hair, I can kind of do that and it doesn't look weird. So I've been loving all the Benefit eyebrow products. I think they're really good. Um, I use a three or a 3.5 and I've just been loving them. So yes. Okay, now we're done. Let me know if you like this video, this concept. I feel like it's a fun way to kind of show you new pieces that I get every month. It means I can do more consistent hauls and just show you like what's, what I'm getting, how I'm online shopping, new products I'm loving. Um, Cause I feel like fi favorites don't, people don't really like seeing favorites anymore. So I think that these are a great way to show like new products that I've kind of gotten in. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Uh, please follow me on Instagram if you haven't already. Subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, and yeah, love you all. Peace and love.